The Banshees of Inishirin should win Best Picture because it's a heart-wrenching story about the nature of friendship, countries, and modern society. In the film, Pavrik and Colm are best friends, but one day Colm decides that he no longer has time for idle chatter and needs to focus his remaining life on creating something meaningful and lasting, like art, poetry, and music. This is a tragedy, and it's awful to watch it play out. Pavrik goes from disbelief to sympathy, trying to understand his friend, to real hurt and pain for the cruelty his friend is inflicting. Colin Farrell gives a phenomenal performance, equally matched with Brendan Gleeson. Self-maiming may seem a bit extreme, but watching Gleeson's comb, you understand where he's coming from. Fear. Fear that he will die unknown, irrelevant, and unimportant. This is a deeply human despair. Colm's self-maiming is reflected in the background with the Irish Civil War. At one point, a character is excited about the prospect of going to an execution on the mainland. When asked which side is being executed, the character doesn't know. He's just excited to see the violence. This film reminds me of Salvador Dali's painting, Premonition of Civil War, which was about the Spanish Civil War. Both the film and the painting feature grotesque imagery, and it's not clear who started what or how either can stop. The film leaves us with a foreboding scene where the two men clearly love each other, but there's also the feeling that the worst may be yet to come. There's often no clear way out of civil wars, and the challenges in reintegrating two inseparably linked but conflicting sides can last more than a lifetime. On a personal level, I find myself saying no to spending time just having idle conversation because I feel like I need to spend more time working to improve my career, reading great books, or trying to write something important. But this film made me question whether I have the wrong approach. Recently, LeBron James passed NBA legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for the all-time scoring title, a record that has held for 40 years. Kareem wrote on his substack, if I had the choice of having my scoring record remain intact for another 100 years or spend one afternoon with my grandchildren, I'd be on the floor in seconds stacking Legos and eating Uncrustables. The presence we spend with one another cannot be valued and compared to our lifetime achievements. In the film, Pavrik privately proclaims that niceness lasts and is remembered. But what I love about this film is that even when it feels like it may have convinced you on the power of niceness, it hits you with the reality of economics. Pavrik's sister Siobhan leaves her brother and the tiny island of Inishirin, where animals freely roam inside her tiny cottage to get a job as a teacher on the mainland. Much of modern life, especially in the workplace, is about efficiency. And friendship and conversation are often not efficient. People need money, either to pay down student debt, save up enough money for a mortgage deposit, to pay off healthcare costs. We have to sacrifice time with our friends and family to focus on improving our careers. If we're lucky enough to be friends with our colleagues, we must still be looking for jobs at other companies to get paid competitively and we must be willing to leave our colleagues every few years. Like Siobhan, we must be willing to leave behind our communities. As someone from Kansas, this personally resonates with me. I've seen my friends from high school and my older siblings move across the country to find better work and opportunities. Our society's dependency on this efficiency is reflected in the fact that 32% of Americans reported having two or less close friends in 2021. That's compared to 16% in 1990. I don't really know how to fix this. Much is related to people's economic uncertainty, I'm sure the social internet has created some of this isolation too. But one way or another, Colm's isolation and despair surely resonates with many people today. The Banshees of Inishirin's ability to capture and portray this isolation is beautiful and deserving of recognition. I've talked a lot about the story, but the film has absolutely beautiful cinematography with the Irish coastline prominently featured. There are also wonderful supporting performances with Barry Cogan and Carrie Condon. Carter Burwell creates an incredible score that provides a chilling backdrop to this tragedy. This film is also really funny, which you wouldn't necessarily know from watching this video, but Martin McDonough finds moments of tragedy and absurdity to just create humor and break this tension, and he does it in such a masterful way. It's, it's really, really cool and one of the best things about this film. All of these parts together create a tragic yet beautiful film that should win Best Picture. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think of Banshees in the comments below.